Regular shows Halloween specials were pure nightmare fuel. They skinned Muscle Man, seriously. Honestly, if you grew up with regular show terror tales of the park and you sat through every single one start to finish, you're definitely one of the bravest kids you probably knew growing up. Like regular show was always sort of edgy, but 100% you could tell that they were definitely pushing the boundaries with terror tales of the park and they wanted to see everything they could pull off. For example, the episode Death Metal Crash Pit. A whole episode dedicated to seeing who would play chicken the longest and stay in their car before they jump into a pit and just die. Like I can't even lie and not admit that when I was younger this gave me bad ideas for things I wanted to do when I first started driving. Rightfully so, this leads to them getting haunted by previous people that have failed to survive the crash pit and they just decide that they want to take Muscle Man down with them. Bro decides that's not how he wants to go out so instead he escapes from their grasp, literally grabs a brick and throws it on the acceleration. We proceed to see Muscle Man have one of the most gruesome detailed deaths in regular show as we see the van he's in just tumble over and over, getting proceedingly more crushed till he just explodes. We see him float back up as a ghost. Like genuinely till this day, I don't know how Cartoon Network let them get away with this. But this isn't even the worst thing that they did to Muscle Man in these Terror Tales. It gets worse. In the Terror Tales episode known as In the House, Rigby decides to troll a wizard by egging his house because he's Rigby, everybody else literally ends up suffering the consequences. Literally, Muscle Man gets smoked first. When he gets dragged in the forest, that was already terrifying, but to actually have him come back skinned alive was insane. Five ghosts get sucked into a phone, and then you see his guts get spit over everybody else. Shit, dead ass looked like milk. It was extremely gruesome, low key. Benson literally gets put inside of a toilet and just implodes, and you see his gumballs everywhere. During all of this, Rigby's consequences that he got turned into a house he low-key suffered the least we will say mordecai's death in this one was the most confusing to me because his head just falls off but the existential horror of all of your friends being murdered inside of your own body has to be pretty insane i can't lie like as i'm doing research on these halloween specials that regular show was putting out I realize that regular show is just really good at killing any of their characters if you made it this far in the video, then one, you have to sub to Time Pizza and help us take over the whole anime cartoon internet game. Two, you have to follow the Twitch because I know you're going to be bored after this and I'm live streaming every single day on Twitch. You just got to go over there and follow us. So stop wasting time, follow the pizza people, join the We Move initiative and be a pizza person and help us take over the whole game. We move. Like they had a whole episode where they actually got a xenomorph to appear in the show. This thing wants to murder people because it wants to be lazy. Like it deadass put a straight up hole in somebody's chest. Deadass didn't watch an alien movie until I was 21 years old because that shit just really creeped me out. I think it also made it worse that regular show didn't have a lot of blood in the show, if any at all. Seeing a lot of these characters just straight up die like animated action figures was very unsettling. One Terror Tales literally had them all get get haunted by a pumpkin scarecrow and he slowly attempted to turn everybody in the park into different pumpkins like when bro got a hold of mordecai he straight up just stomped him out and you saw mordecai's pumpkin bloody mess just laid out there like how do you even conceptualize your characters dying in such a horrific way finding out this next episode wasn't a terror tales is pretty crazy to me but i think that's just how you know a lot of the horror and regular show was just peak the bear episode and no not the emmy winning show but it's called death bear and it takes place where mordecai rigby eileen and margaret all decide to go and visit an abandoned zoo top 10 stupidest things people in their 20s definitely would do and they accidentally end up awaking the deaf bear who was asleep at this abandoned zoo and just the way that the bear ended up leaving from the shadows was creepy as hell to me but this overpowered ass bear dead ass ends up chasing them all the way back home he breaks in and attempts to murder them like he's in The Shining or something. I will say though, this episode definitely put up a decent ass feat for Mordecai. Cause while Eileen was trying to call animal control thinking that would help, the bear starts rushing her down. And somewhere in him, Mordecai finds himself to have the strength in order to tackle this bear through the fucking wall. Like you dead ass don't even get a second to breathe because right after animal control shows up and they don't do anything helpful. The bear just pulls off a Muay Thai kick and just 
one shots both of the animal control. This shit was hilarious. Also, he rips the guy's arms off and just walks away. Luckily for them, after spamming him with tranquilizer darts, he just falls asleep. But genuinely, you felt the horror and intensity behind this death bear just shredding through everybody as they were trying to murder like Mordecai in the group. Honestly, it's genuinely slept on at how good regular show is at just intensity and horror. We low-key might need to just let JG Quintal cook and give us a full horror series because honestly, after reviewing Terror Tales in a few of these episodes, they would genuinely be good at it. Beating at the top,